Hey guys, so it's come to my attention the last video with Citroen sitting in my car at GFM and we were talking about how he stole my car and I referenced that this is the second time he's done it. So let's give a little context on that. Um, so back in, uh, I think it was 2021 at MCFC, we did a photo or a video of him kind of, uh, no, it was a photo, sorry. Um, there was a photo we took of him in my old Ford Focus at MCFC. I think it was 2021. It may have been, uh, it was right after the pandemic. Um, but anyways, we took a photo of him sitting right in, in my uh, Ford Focus and he had his cane out the window. It was all ha ha, you know, cause for those that don't know, he is blind and he's never got to sit in a car. So we put him in there, we let him rev the car a little bit and just kind of goofed around cause it's not like he could put it, he was gonna put it in gear. Um, Anyways, uh, unfortunately, when we shared that photo, I made the I made the joke, hey, if anybody knows this guy, he stole my car. And a lot of people at MCFC actually thought Citroen stole my car. Um, and to this day, I still get messages from that photo. Hey, did you ever get your car back? That's from that Citroen Husky, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, guys, I know I was rooming with him at that con. It was all a joke. Um, there was, there was some more drama around it. Like people got upset and that some people thought it was real and I'm not going to get into that in this video. So while we were at GFM, we decided to remake said video and have a little fun with it. Um, so we put Citrine in the car. He's got his cane out of the window in my new, in my new car and said he stole the car. He fires the car up again. He's not getting, putting it in drive or anything like that. And like I said, we had everything safely done. Um, and he, he's talking about how he's driving because he's literally going to MCFC in two weeks. So he's uh, going from Gateway Fermi to MCFC. So we did it as though he's stole my car and he's leaving Gateway and headed to MCFC now. Guys, this is all a joke. He didn't really steal my car. We I called him the blind bandit. He knows he was okay with it. Uh, it it's a joke between me and him. And if you want the full story maybe uh at first squared next month when me and him are there together we can me and him will sit down and do a video if you guys really want the full context of everything that happened uh at motor city fur on that year with that photo and everything but guys it's a joke not serious like i love citrine to death and i would have no problem with him driving my car you know giving the proper circumstances there was no one in danger. He didn't steal my car. Jesus, guys. Love you to death. But my DMs are blowing up. Love you. He didn't steal the car. I mean, I, I couldn't tell him no anyways because he's awesome. But for those that don't know, he is an awesome musician. Definitely check out his music. He does have a forever pass now. And for 200 bucks get his music for the rest of your life uh, rest of his life any music he does he he adds it to this flash drive that looks like a old cassette tape it looks awesome definitely check it out um, and then he he i'll put it i'll link him down below after i get home because i'm going to probably put this video out here shortly um all right next time i stop for fuel uh, i'll put his link down below in the comment section so you can get a hold of him find out how to get other ways you can buy his music um, like I said, the forever pass is a deal because guys, 200 bucks and he's got a lot of music and it's awesome. So definitely check out Citrine Husky uh, on t Twitter, YouTube, and uh, Telegram. And I will, like I said, I'll link his Telegram down below. He doesn't bite. He might nibble a little, but he don't bite. So yes, definitely check him out. Love y'all. Have a wonderful day.